very deep down that you do what you meant to do. And uh, I think when you feel like this and when you're happy to do what you're doing, uh, I think this is happiness. <laughs> Френската скулпторка Вала Адрианов се установява в Тайланд преди 6 години. В Бангкок тя намира истинското си призвание на артист, който създава съвременно изкуство. Отдалечена от ежедневния шум на Бангкок, студиото на Вала мястото, където тя дава израз на вдъхновението си и създава своите малки восъчни фигури, които по-късно в лярната ще се превърнат в бронзови статуетки. I think what work in my figures, in my characters, they can be small or much bigger, it's a detail. And hands, uh, of course, is a kind of detail or position of the head. It's a kind of detail which at the end will give life or not to the sculpture. And the bigger the scale is, I think the more difficult it's to, to have some bigger figures which uh, look uh, alive or in the movement or in what they want to do etc and for example in this uh, this sculpture uh, i think the hand really gives a direction it's kind of uh, the left side is really on the on the past and the head and the hand is really on the future and it's in movement when the left side is more static and I would like to do some kind of uh, monumental pieces so I've got some project and I hope it will go on. Вал прекарва всеки ден в ателието си по 5 часа, когато е готова с восъчните отливки, тя отива в леярната, където статуетките се изработват от бронз. It's really it really completely empty your mind. You so concentrate on what you do that you forget everything and you you are only on small details etc. And sometimes you have some uh, thoughts going and going, but it's like a movie is going in your head because you, you, you are working and thinking about your, this piece. I, so to create new figures, I do it only at my studio in a very, very quiet place, completely different from here where there is a lot of uh, activity and a lot of noise and uh, everybody's working around. So this is a place full of uh, energy uh, and to create new pieces I really need to be at my studio, to be alone and to be uh, with a very calm, uh, no noise. Sometimes I can put some music depending on the mood I am, but it's really, really quiet. Ателието на Вал се намира в къщата, където живее със съпруга си и четърте им деца. Разположено е в изолирана част на семейния дом. То е място, което принадлежи само на Вал. You can be aware of what inspires you or you can be not aware of something which inspires you and you realize afterwards when you finish your sculptures that oh yeah, um, this surely uh, gave you inspiration. So I think I work on a very spontaneous way. For example, when I began this piece, I just wanted to do a pedestal for uh, this guy seated here. This was the idea. So I just did my okay, one meter twenty average, and then I realized, I said, oh no, I don't like it. <laughs> and but I liked the way of uh, being here and have uh, seen feet, and uh, and it gave me the idea of uh, okay, this can be a pedestal, but it can be also something going on here. So, you know, so it's not only one thing, it's just step by step, your inspiration goes and, uh, and follow, follows away. <laughs> so when I will begin a new sculpture, I will think about an architecture and then I will do a structure in iron with metal, with very thin uh, metal uh, branch. And then I will set them up and then I will begin to build my architecture with wax. I will use with a very melted wax, with cold water, I will cold it and use it like a paste. And build 
wherever I want to paint. And then I will also work with a hot knife to make sure after all the details are very fine and choose really well the lines I want. So regularly I'm going to check that my human gets in harmony with this, uh, with this architecture. Uh, what I like to represent is the human being within its, um, uh, its world surrounding him. So my structure, my pedestal, they are representing the world around us. So it's kind of uh, playing with scales, with a size scale and playing that uh, people who seem that they are the main characters, maybe they are world above and they are not uh, such an important character, but they're very, they are very tiny, like the town here. Or each figure plays his life as his own life, but maybe there is something above going on, he cannot see because it's above him. Uh, I think for me, flying is a kind of symbol of um, happiness and freedom. So you have many human beings, they found their way, they found their, what they want to do with their life, or they found their love, and it makes gives them wings and to go f further. And some, they can kind of get stuck, and they cannot move, and they feel uh, kind of uh, lonely, not desperate, but lonely, and waiting for something to happen. I do very, very tiny figures and they go in some much bigger architectures which means that we are very small in our world. Uh, so um, that's really the idea. But even tiny, they can be kind of... Um, I don't know if cute is the right word, but they, they, I will work really hard on their attitude to, to know what they're going to, uh, to express. So they will have uh, some details on the hand or on the foot. Uh, for example, this one, it will have one, uh, this part up a little bit, just to show it's uh, not completely stable in life. Uh, these children will run completely. So with attitude, you can express a lot about uh, human feelings and human emotions. When I began sculptures, I was working with clay. And clay, of course, it's, there is something fragile about clay. And bronze, it's uh, like the very classical medium for, for sculptures. And so I began with bronze, and I really liked it because it allowed me a lot to uh, do some things I couldn't do with clay. Because the welding can allow you to do some very graphic and very light sculptures. For example, the, the, the sculpture like this, with the kid flying and uh, with two kids flying, it's really bronze can allow you to work on separate characters and then put them together really as you want. Uh, I really think it's the idea of uh, freedom and uh, also the idea of uh, confidence. For example, if we look at this sculpture, it's uh, the kid really is flying behind his father. The father is going, we know, don't know where, whatever, never mind. The kid is really happy to go with his father and he's just following, the, closing his eyes and flying and happy to be with him.